Previously, on the BB09 files. If you go to that trial, death will come upon you all. This court is now in session for the trial of Dr. Heinrich E. Yennermeister. This time, we're armed. Oh yeah? Well, so am I. Nine, nine! No! Oh! No! I would have followed you to the end, my brother, my comrade, my kin. Oh. I must run away on a little side errand. Most unexpected and unfortunate. Not a place for a freakish mutant like yourself. And concerning you, Stepsister, I am greatly disappointed. Go! I never want to see you again. It will be incredibly easy to predict Dr. Yenalizer's next move. Yes, he'll go into the scrublands to collect more magic sand. If we can go now, we can stop him once and for all. This is our struggle and ours alone. One more thing. The Yenalizer specifically told me that that magic sand is rumored to bring the dead back to life. Do you think? It is possible. It's the least we can do for our late friend. Let's go hunt some Yenner, mister. Let's get him out quick. We haven't much time. Gather what we need quickly. Do you know how to get there? Looking now. It seems that it's two hours away from here in the opposite direction the trial was held. Alright, let me get started. Mr. Crumb continues to urge Americans not to use any Samsung products. In other news, the FBI has officially released 60-year-old classified information concerning the Apollo 10 mission to the moon. Apparently, the astronauts aboard that flight heard strange out-of-space music emanating from the dark side of the moon. Skeptics at first claimed it was interference from the moon's magnetic field before checking the facts and realizing the moon has no magnetic field. It seems no one has a 100% foolproof explanation of what happened back then, but the FBI must have chosen this time to release the information for some reason. Well, Star Wars Episode 22 was released in theaters today. I've installed security systems, so no one will bother the... Rob? Are you alright? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you in the car, let's go.
first day in my new office. Well, until I get a case going, I just have to entertain myself. George Clarkson, we have a bit of a situation. The janitor was homesick last night, and his replacement said he was cleaning it, and he found this. Well, what is it? Classified information from the Apollo 10 mission. I mean, my rank doesn't allow me to open it, but it must be something pretty spooky. The janitor says that he'll reveal everything to the public if you don't do something about it. Threats do not concern me. I will read through this. Meanwhile, you find some bored agent or something to take care of this for me. Yes, sir. Now I wait. Stop fooling around. What happened back there? This is some news story about the FBI. Nothing to get worked up about. Tell me about it. Well, they released some previously classified information about the Apollo 10 mission, possibly hearing some weird noises on the dark side of the moon. What kind of noises? They can only describe it as eerie space music. I see. And do you believe this? Well, the Wolf radio station has one of their top stories. It must be of some importance, at least. Do you remember the giant crab photo off the coast of England? Yes. Something tells me you got all obsessed about that, too. Well, I wouldn't say obsessed. Maybe a little... Uh... You must remember that that was a simple Photoshop job. And what about the thousands of other sea monster stories? Let's stick with the aliens for right now. First of all, I thought we'd never been to the moon because of those giant worms. Also, didn't you say that, that shaking flag was proof because the moon has no atmosphere and therefore no wind? I still consider that a viable option, but this new theory is perhaps even more exciting. It presents not one, but two options. First of all, there could be aliens living right on the other side of the moon. Right on the other side of the moon, how crazy is that? The more likely option, however, is that it's a form of interstellar communication that the rocket's radio just happens to pick up. Yes, it can come from some crazy guy's computer in California. You were always the skeptic, weren't you, Edgar? I've seen some crazy things in our adventures together, but nothing to convince me of crazy things on planets or moons. Pull off here. Peter, this is Assistant Director Claxton writing. It has come to my attention that you are new to the agency and are in need of an assignment. More details are on the following pages, but to sum up, you are basically going to be dealing with a flustered employee who claims she saw something that doesn't actually exist. If you have any further questions after reading through the papers, feel free to contact me at the enclosed number. Good luck and welcome to the agency.
Did you, did you deliver that packet to Agent Peter? Yeah, he should be reading through it right now. Good job. Why don't you go get yourself some coffee? Don't mind if I do. I was scared of dentists and the dark. I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversation. for the visitor center. The only people we see in the scrublands themselves are federal employees making sure that no one sneaks in. What are they protecting? The truth is no one knows, but I do have a few suspicions. And how do you suggest we sneak into this federally protected property? Look around. No fences, no walls, no barriers. They simply rely on surveillance, which is why I need to be as quiet as mice and as stealthy as foxes. Right. Let's go. Treacherous, murderous little worm known as Dr. Yennermeister. Do not kill me. I'm unarmed. Pat him down. Aha! Uh -huh. Just wait until we get you back to civilization, Dr. Yennermeister. We can all sit down at Starbucks and add even more felonies to your extensive list. Does that sound like fun? Because it seems like felonies are your kind of fun, Dr. Yennermeister. Stop. Shut up. Listen to me. I have. I'm vying a proposition for you. Alright, stop with the German already, okay? We haven't come to barter with the likes of you. So what's your plan? You're both too nice to kill me, and tying me up and leaving me in this scorching desolation would... I wouldn't stop. completely count that first option out. Stop, Rom. Enough blood has been spilt on this day. Let's listen to his proposition. Alright, fine. <clears throat> We both know that you will not persuade me to stop my search for the magic sand, and vice versa. So, why don't we team up? At the very least, until we find the sand. What say you? What say you? All right, fine. But only under one condition. You're in our custody now, and you will listen to our terms. Very well. Hello. Good afternoon, sir. This is Special Agent Piotr Koslov. I'm new to the agency. Ah, Agent Peter, it's good to speak to you. Have you had a chance to look through that file yet? Yes, and I had a couple of questions. First, what exactly is the janitor reporting he saw? I couldn't find anything about that in here. Oh, that's irrelevant. We, we, I just need you to get him to stop with these petty accusations so it doesn't affect our paychecks, you know what I mean? I'm afraid I don't. If I'm to speak to this man, I need to know what it is he's talking about. Oh, it won't be necessary for you to speak to him. With all due respect, sir, how do you just I handle this then? Well, let's see here. I, you know, I, I think this is a bit a bit much for your first uh, procedure as an FBI agent. Why don't Why don't I get back to you on this one? We'll, we'll give you something different. 
believe I could handle this if you gave me some guidance. Hang on for a second. Hey, can you take can you take these to the office in China for me and bring back a hot cup of coffee? Hey, sorry about that. I'm gonna have to let you go. Uh, why don't you just call it a day, and I'll have something lined up for you tomorrow. Well, all right, sir. Good night. Stop! Stop! I will not go another step unless I get some more faster. You've already had six big swigs. How much more do you want? Shut him up or tape his lips together. Where are you going? To seek the company is the only one around here who's got any sense. Who's that? Myself. to apprehend Dr. Yennermeister. How did you get mixed up with the doctor's treacherous little stepsister and his toady, Mr. Chase? Toady? I don't appreciate that demeaning term. Oh yeah? Well, I don't appreciate getting swatted in my face with a reed. Stepsister? I thought I told you I never wanted to see you again. Tough luck, brother. When you treat your family worse than you treat your enemies, you have to expect some I knew it was you Fredo moments. Liar! Don't cough! Yes, I thought I had disposed of you! Guess you didn't brew your disgusting little potion right. Liar! You guys oh my my Quiet! Quiet! Order! I can explain. I had planned on visiting these scrublins, but I did not know that this is the one you all were because there are multiple scrublins. My associate, Miss Olivia, here had just informed me that there were multiple intruders on the premises. I, of course, did not know that this was you. Employee? You mean you own this place? No, no, but I do run security here sometimes. All right, well, I'm glad that's settled then. Yeah. Uh, I'll see you going and get Dr. Gettermeister down some nice, comfy iron bars. Not so fast, UFO boy. Sit back down. I'm afraid we can't let you go any further. All three of you will be charged with espionage and trespassing on government property. But we must get the magic sand and stop Dr. Yennermeister! Claxton, tell her! I'm afraid she's right on support and nothing we can do. Miss Veronica, please escort them out. Traitor! Ah, put some blood on their hands as Dr. Uh, Yennermeister does! Traitor, yeah. sorry. Now we're ready. I still hate your guts, but it seems that we have made a few common enemies. Truth continues. I suppose we don't have much of a choice. Agreed. I'm glad that we concur. When I give a signal, I will go for that cursed Mr. Chase and my stepsister. You two divvy up the rest of them. Shut up and keep moving, sweetheart. Halt! Halt! Let's rest here a bit. Still about four and a half miles to the, the post. What do you make of it? At first glance, I'd say it's something parasitic, maybe even of alien origin. It's, it's obviously feeding off of the other foliage in the area, and uh, those other plants certainly aren't getting the deal in this night. So in other words, it's one of those face mirror things from alien. It's similar, except it, it feeds off of the plants instead of humans. Wrong. These are just lichens. Lichens? Uh, well... Good call. If science class is over, allow me to point something out. What? I have the eyes of 
of a hawk and the ears of a fox. How much longer can we keep up this ruse? As long as it takes. If that magic sand exists, I must control it. Me and Chase still get a cut, right? Look, your friend Claxton here didn't hire a trained mercenary for nothing. Our only worry is if the surveillance crews find us. But luckily, I have this. By the way, Claxton, what's in it for you? I thought you were hoping these idiots apprehend the doctor. Let's just say I have some very good reasons why I don't want Agent Peter alive. Bad blood? Let's move out. You catch any of them? Some. It would seem they are fooling us. Judge Claxton is not a part of the Scrubland security team. He appears to want to stop us from getting the magic sand so that you don't revive the Agent Piotr which I must say is a very honorable cause. But bestowing immortality upon myself is more important. That way, I will have all of eternity to kill him again. So, in other words, you're still with us? For now, Mr. Brom. For now. Let's take a listen. Yes. Ah, hello, Assistant Director. Thank you for getting me such an interesting case so soon. I've always found space travel and the chance of extraterrestrial life fascinating. This case is completely separate from the previous one, yes? Hello? Hello? Lucy! Lucy, get in here! Yes, sir? Gather your belongings and be gone. You're fired. But why? For careless handling of sensitive files. You're lucky I'm not pressing charges. But, yes, sir. Ask us up. Why are you carrying all that? I kind of made a mistake. What kind of mistake? Uh, long story short, I kind of got fired. Fired? Inconceivable! See, Tom Fert, how am I going to infiltrate the affairs of the FBI now? I don't know, we'll find some other gullible gold to be a secretary and a spy. I don't know. Uh, don't cough. However, because I am a generous man, I will allow you to remain with me. How kind. One more mistake, and you will find yourself wandering the streets again. Got it? Step, sister. Loud and clear. Good. Get that stuff back to your apartment and then meet me at the diner. I am in the mood for brothels. to hide from your friends. Well, they might not have recognized us. A likely story. Why are these lands so highly protected? There is literally nothing here but sand. I, that's a good question, Miss Veronica. I, I don't really know. Y'all might like to kid yourselves and think you're the only ones who know about the magic sand, but you're wrong. The feds have been looking for this stuff for years, but they can't find it. Maybe if they got out of their fancy helicopters and did some walking, they'd find it quicker. There's a reason why that's just not possible, Mr. Chase. And that is? Have you ever heard of El Chupacabra? 
A chupacadra? You mean the Mexican goat sucker? <laughs> chupacadra. Yeah, that. Well, a while ago, I would have told you only geeks believed in that sort of thing, but apparently a couple of FBI agents met some mysterious ends out here. You know, coyotes are the only natural predators, and they wouldn't attack grown men in broad daylight. So you mean there could be some blood-sucking aliens chasing us right now? If that's what you'd like to believe. Ew. El Chupacabra? Here? That's extraordinary. Yes. I believe I have seen it. Seriously? Yes, before you found me, I thought I was being watched, and I got a fleeting glimpse of something not of this world. Something hideous. Wait, give me her watch. Just as I suspected, lost time. Lost time? Yeah, it's, it's a phenomenon that happens to alien abductees. Uh, they report losing minutes, hours, even whole days, when to us it just seems like a few moments. Because to her, she has been gone exactly 45 minutes. Well, to us it's just been a few moments. And if I do this... After them! And where is Edgar and the doctor? Bring them to me at the front of the habitat. And for you, our Cody's will appreciate our generous gift. Go, go! This is Get us out of here! Okay. How did you get that? Um, I'll tell you later. <laughs> I see you failed. There's an alien out there! Wrong! That place is crawling with aliens! That's besides the point. You failed yourselves as well as me. And Olivia, get out of here, you hey, scum. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Chase. 
I mean, I have use for you yet. And for that Veronica Yennermeister, I have her into Swift. Get him in a sitting position. I'll get the injection ready. Sounds good. Make sure it's only a small amount. I mean, Kyoto's a great guy and all, but I don't think we need him running around until the end of all things with that invincibility stuff. Agreed. I assume there will be some side effects. Who are you? Where is this place? My name is Brom, and this is Edgar. Uh, we're your friends. You may not remember that because you've been asleep for a very long time. Asleep and not in the hospital? You're in good hands, trust me. It's good to see you again. I wish I could say the same for you two. Is there anything to eat? I'm hungry. Give us a little while, but we'll have a hot warrior for you. Sit back right now. Give me some rest. Amnesia is a very common side effect in these kinds of situations. Wears off in some cases. We need his memory back. It could be the key to everything we've learned today. Well, I'm sure a solution will present itself. What's for dinner? Well, nothing gourmet. You up for a hungry man? I suppose. Hey, when you survive a day with Dr. Yannermeister and friends, you can't be too picky. Why don't you get some plates and I'll start heating these things up. Sounds good. contact you yet. The procedure took much longer than expected. Everything is going according to schedule. However, Dr. Yennermeister is in the custody of the aliens now, and I have personally selected their next subject. They should have him by morning. Unfortunately, I only managed to wipe out one of the meddlers, Veronica. Your mercenary, with all due respect, did not do a good job. I prefer to handle these things myself, actually. The FBI is proud of you, Assistant Director Claxton. You played out your part as a fake judge quite well, and it seems, at least partially, succeeded at your Scrublands mission. The invasion should be able to continue as scheduled. Now, I just have one more task for you. Concerning? Brahm and his little friends, wipe them out. All of them. I will see to it that they are taken care of immediately. 